Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. In this video, we will take a look at monitoring and troubleshooting VMware Integrated OpenStack using the vRealize Operations Manager Management Pack, which provides useful dashboards for OpenStack. The first dashboard reports the health of the OpenStack controllers, with granularity right down to individual services such as Cinder Volume, Nova API, etc. Health monitoring for the controller services are grouped according to classifications that VMware administrators are familiar with. For example, compute services have their own dashboard, and the same is true for network and storage services. Scrolling down to the controller service metrics, we see individual OpenStack storage services being monitored, including Cinder API and Cinder Volume. If there are any issues with these services, appropriate alerts are displayed in the controller service alerts window. The remaining controller services are grouped into a general OpenStack management services category. These services include the RabbitMQ and Memcached services running on the controllers. We move on to individual service dashboards and see what they monitor. The next tab is the OpenStack Compute Infrastructure Dashboard, which displays the health of the vSphere cluster compute resources that run your OpenStack workloads. Here, you can see cluster health, as well as the health of individual ESXi servers. The OpenStack Network Infrastructure Dashboard reports the health of networking components of the OpenStack infrastructure, including the NSX controllers, transport zone, and so on. Next, the OpenStack vCenter Storage Infrastructure Dashboard displays the health of the data stores used by OpenStack. Finally, the OpenStack Tenants tab shows a list of tenants and indicates their resource consumption. Let us now see an example of VMware vRealize Operations Manager helping us troubleshoot an issue with OpenStack. The issue is that the health of our OpenStack storage services is at a warning level. In the controller service topology, we hover over the controller 02 icon that is colored red. The pop-up display shows that something is possibly wrong with the Cinder service on this controller VM. When we scroll down to the controller service metrics window, we see that only one of the two Cinder volume service instances is running, and the controller service alerts window shows possible resolutions. We head over to the controller 02 VM in our command line interface and try to restart the Cinder volume service. We verify that the service is not running and restart it. We return to the VMware vRealize Operations Manager dashboard view and wait for the status update. Once the error condition clears, we see that there is no warning. The environment's health status goes back to green and confirms the appropriate operating state for the environment. With that, we finish the demo on monitoring and troubleshooting VMware Integrated OpenStack using the vRealize Operations Manager Management Pack. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Thank you.